Josh. <laughs> Josh! How does it feel? Do you enjoy that to feel once one year ago? Only, only guess what? They didn't get to laugh it off. No! Nope! No, no, no! They're gone! Jessica's fucking dead. What? Did you hear me? Jessica is dead. And you were gonna fucking pay, you ah! dick! What happened with Jess, Mike? I don't remember killing Jess. Jesus Christ. Oh, God. Oh, my God, Matt! This is gonna be the way. Out of it, now. Are you serious? Whoa. You all right? Whoa. What the fuck can that be? Josh. Jess? It's not Jess. Sorry, man, but who is it? I don't know. We should check it out. I got your back. Good.
L uh, let me have the pistol, because I mean, you could take whoever it is through sheer good looks and m muscle and all that. Just, I, I should have the pistol. Sorry, Charlie. No pistol for you. Not after what went down in the shed. Come on, man. I was trying to protect you. Well, now I got you covered. So, don't worry. Okay. I'm gonna open the door. You ready? <laughs> Hold on there. Hold on there, mister. Freeze. Ah, oh, what? All right, all right. Just take it easy, Grandpa. Okay, everybody, just calm down. Now, just move over there. I'm here to tell you what you're up against being back on this mountain. You should never have returned. I don't know why you did after what happened last year. You mean with Hannah and Beth? Yeah, how could you know without being involved? Oh, we're responsible. You hold on to your horses. I don't take kindly to you kids coming up here to my mountain. Your mountain? Huh? I'm sure the Washingtons would be very surprised to hear that. <laughs> well, the mountain don't belong to me, it's true. But it don't belong to the Washingtons. This mountain belongs to the Wendigo. <laughs> Who? What is he talking about? Who the hell's a Wendigo? Let's hear him out. Not like we have a choice. Now, I'm only gonna tell you this once. It doesn't matter to me if you believe it or not. I got reasons I wanna get it off my chest. See? I told you. He's guilty as shit. Guilty as something. Shut up, Mike. There is a curse that dwells in these mountains. Should any man or woman resort to cannibalism in these woods, the spirit of the Wendigo shall be unleashed. Oh, crap. <coughs> You're gonna need to find somewhere safe. The basement might be okay. Okay, get down there now, all of you, and wait. What? Why? For how long? Till dawn. Guys, I ran off and left Josh when I heard screaming. Where did you leave him? In the shed. Ah. Uh, your friend will already be dead. No. No, he can't be. We, we were just with him. A lot can happen quickly on this mountain. No. I, I'm not letting anything else happen to him. Anything else? What, what do you mean? Uh... Chris. Hit him. We thought he'd killed Jessica, and, and, and so he got me riled up. And I hit him in the head. Chris! Maybe he deserved it. No matter what, we can't just let him die. Then I'll go with you. I, I don't need your help. He going alone is suicide. All right. The rest of you, get down to the basement. Be safe. And don't go outside again until we're back. You don't seem to understand the magnitude of the situation. Well, I'm going to get Josh, aren't I? No, I'm going to get Josh. You're going to help me. Do you understand? Uh... Yeah, I think so. You need to follow me and do everything I tell you. This is the end. You point towards the thing you want to kill. I know how to use a shotgun, man. No, you don't. What? How do you know? Trust me. I know. Hey. Come back safe. Um, we need to hurry, son. I, uh... I'll see you soon. So, so tell me, you're the expert on these things. What's, uh, what, what's a guy got to know? You just be careful. You follow my lead. So, how many times do I have to shoot it with the shotgun before it's dead? Well, you'll be shooting it a long time. You, you mean this thing won't even kill it? No, it will slow it down. Well, how do you kill it? They don't like fire. I don't like fire. They fear it. 
Then I can kill them, if you have to. See, their skin is like, it's like tough armor, unless you burn it off first. Gross. Well, what, what are these things like? I mean, are they just crazy unpredictable, or... I mean, can you figure out what they're gonna do? Well, they adhere to some pattern, like any animal. Or human. Like how? Like they've got schedules? Well, they only hunt at night. Oh. Why? I didn't ask. The, uh, pro Wendigo tips? Like if I rub garlic all over me, they can be able to smell me or something? Uh, they'll still smell you. Anything like that. He's gone. We're too late. Shh, quiet. We gotta go. Right now. We gotta find Josh. He could still be out there. <laughs> First, the wind you go. He'll render you immobile. And then he strips the skin off of your entire body, piece by piece. And then he keeps you alive and aware and feasts on your organs, one piece at a time. So the launch then. Yeah, let's go now. It might still be near.
What's wrong? It's... It's not good up there. <laughs> Mike, where is Chris? <laughs> He didn't. He was out there. I'm. I'm so sorry, Ashley. What about the old guy? No sign of him. I think he's got to be dead too. All right. These are all the doors. Yeah. Are you sure? What are you looking for? Another way out. Do you have the key for the cable car? Josh. He's got to have it. Josh? One of his dirty little tricks. Great. Great. If that fucking thing got a hold of Josh, then we're shit out of luck. Fuck it. I'm gonna get that key right from that thing's goddamn bedroom, and then I'm gonna get us all the hell out of here. What is all that? Is that a map? <gasps> that guy was prepared for anything. <laughs> Not quite. What is that? I was down there. It was horrible. You were? Some of them survived, but like 15 of them didn't make it. There was this reporter, and I think he figured out there had been some like big cover up going on. I found these plans. They knew the mine was a death trap, but they let the miners keep working anyway. And I'm not sure what it means, but I found this chair. Dried blood all over the place, like somebody'd been tortured. I'm just saying. It's weird how much crazy shit's gone on up here. That's how I got back here. You guys know what to do. Yeah. No one leave. Okay? It's not safe out there. I'll be back soon. What does it say? Let me see that. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. We've got to get the mic. Like, now. Joshua, you should have listened to me. Because of your choices, people have died. I don't know which is worse, actively triggering events that lead to someone's death, or passively allowing a tragedy to occur. Because you couldn't lift a goddamn finger to help someone else. <laughs> Remember last year, huh? Are you left your poor sisters to die? You did nothing to help them. Paralyzed by your own self-centered fear. While a real threat was closing in. No, it's all about you, Josh. It's always all about you. Your game has gone terribly wrong. And your friends, like your sisters, have deserted you. You're all alone. Can you feel how cold your loneliness has become, huh? Why did you hurt them? 
Joshua, why did you hurt them? Oh, but of course you did. They were your friends, you misled them, you lied to them, and you put them through a night of genuine horror. Just a game? But it was a game that has driven you to one of your own deepest fears, Joshua. You are now facing something worse than death itself. Sometime after the prospector, until a cave in trials and driven mad murderers, my sight. I couldn't save you. See you guys later.